Saints Row is a series that has evolved through the years from basically a GTA clone to an over-the-top parody of itself, pretty much. Saints Row's been through a lot, and for the most part, it's been pretty positive. Most of the Saints Row games have been pretty good. I mean, there's some argument about the very first one, Agents of Mayhem, and just the general style and tone of the games in general, but we'll get into that in just a minute. Saints Row's never had a bad game. And while what is good and bad is for sure taste, as evidenced by some of the people who actually did push back on our Before You Buy, which was not particularly kind to the new Saints Row, there is at very least a lot of stuff in the new Saints Row game that a lot of people think is bad. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, we ask the question, why is Saints Row getting so much hate? So again, before we get going, there are people that are enjoying this game. And I don't want to shame anybody for enjoying a game. There are parts of it that I think are actually decent. I'm not going to say I never laughed or I never enjoyed the gameplay, but these are few and far between as far as I'm concerned. I think it's kind of worth talking about the Saints Row fans, though, at this point. Like I said in the intro, this is a series that's evolved quite a bit. In our Before You Buy, Jake went into that a little bit, and I, for the most part, pretty much agree with his assessment of the series. But the audience hasn't been all along for the ride in the way that Jake and myself have. There are a lot of people out there that kind of saw Saints Row 2 as the pinnacle of the series. The original Saints Row was kind of just a GTA clone, and while some of the Saints Row identity was there, not a lot of it was. A lot of people liked it because they'd played the hell out of Grand Theft Auto and didn't have a lot left to do in it. Saints Row 2, on the other hand, was awesome. Like I said, the Saints Row identity came in, it became its own thing, it evolved into something that was not necessarily full-blown parody all the time, but it was funny, it had good action, tons of charm, it had a lot going for it. And just to be really clear, they lost some of those people with Saints Row 3 and 4, which got progressively crazier and crazier. Now, here's the thing about those games too, they were huge hits. So not only did they get crazier and crazier, but they brought more and more people into the series. And there is kind of a line drawn between the two types of Saints Row fans. Those that like the dash of humor along with their over-the-top flavor of crime open world and the people who like a pretty good action game with a very over-the-top open world that is just irreverent and insane at all moments. So they tried to please both of these groups and, and that is not the best way to go. You can't be all things to all people. And if you try to please everybody, you're gonna end up pleasing nobody. In a lot of ways, that's what happened here. This, this game has a weird, almost there tone the whole time. Every minute I have spent with it, I've felt just like uh, they didn't get there. You know what I mean? It lacks bite. Is it over the top and funny sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. But that's not consistent and it doesn't even try to be that all the time. Sometimes it just basically tries to be a generic open world crime game and it really comes through that way. So... <sighs> Getting into the story, the game kind of emphasizes characters that aren't super interesting. Like on paper, fine, they probably work. When you're writing stories, you're often working with archetypes and it's not so much the type of character they are, but the execution. And that's the problem here. Rather than have personalities, these people are all just kind of a pile of different types of jokes. And the voice actors seem to know it. Either that, or they didn't pay them as much as they should have. Uh, one of the two. Like, fan favorites like Sean D, Johnny Gat, they were all goofy, but they also had appeal, like staying power, a presence. And those games really committed to them. Like, this... <sighs> They don't really do that. Like, like I said, each character is kind of just like a set of jokes about a specific type of Instagram account. And all of the characters look like PS4 NPCs. Like, maybe not the worst ones out there, but they don't look great. Like I said, the tone's kind of all over the place, 
but like anytime they try to have you emotionally care, it just feels completely unearned and you don't connect with this game at all. And part of that is the humor. Like if we're gonna be completely clear, uh, we relate to humor. I love joking around with friends and they really, really tried to capture that here and wow, did they fail. Like Final Fantasy 15, without really having that funny of writing, nailed this. The camaraderie of a few friends hanging around each other worked in that game. This just feels like, you know, you put these people in a room and they all like each other because they're in the room. And I don't get that. I don't get what I'm supposed to care about. Humor really could have grounded it and they just sort of biffed it, you know? And me saying they biffed it was actually funnier than most of the jokes. I'm not saying all the jokes, some of the jokes, uh, they work. There's a few little moments, but I'll tell you this. Wow, do they want to be the most clever humorists of all time? Every joke in this game is so friggin' wordy. It's like the people who wrote it wanted to be the onion without knowing why the onion is funny. Like, Saints Row 3 and 4 opened with a bang. They had all this tongue and cheek pop culture stuff that knew how to be current without slapping an expiration date on it. And even like jokes about the video game industry that actually landed. So, it's a big void here. I will say though, normally humor isn't such a make or break factor in a game, but this is Saints Row. It's a series that is known for both great gameplay and great humor. And at the best moments of the game, we kind of got middle of the road on both those things. The best moments of the game. And while humor is such a big element of Saints Row, having a game that works completely is a, such a big element of every game. I don't really necessarily think that having such a not working humor element is forgivable for a Saints Row game, but the amount of glitches, things that just don't work in the mechanics of the game. I mean, a lot of people are sick of buying $60, $70 games that are a complete mess, and it's been happening a lot over the last four or five years. Just to flat out say it, this game has a ton of bugs. Like, you've seen tons of outlets and YouTube channels documenting them if you've spent any time on this. And if I'm completely honest, I think the glitch problem is less about Saints Row and more about the state of AAA games as a whole. We have gotten a lot of AAA games that just aren't done. Obviously, probably the most famous instance of that was Cyberpunk. And wow, could they have used that as fodder for Saints Row, a game built on making jokes about video games? But again, that would have required a game that doesn't have the kind of glitches that it has because you couldn't get away with making fun of cyberpunk with this, seriously. Now, we can talk a little bit about the gameplay. I wouldn't say the gameplay is terrible. Could it be a little more finished? Absolutely, but like, meh. maybe six, seven years ago, this is pretty much what we would want out of an open world game. I mean, maybe we'd be asking for a little bit more, but not a lot, but we definitely didn't need a game that feels like like it's seven years old out of the gate. I can tell you that. Like Saints Row 2022 didn't need to reinvent the wheel or anything, but it, it needed to not feel like a step backwards. And it does. Driving, shooting, it feels less interesting and definitely less solid than previous games. So why couldn't they have built on the previous games? Uh, like shooting, aiming, none of it's really satisfying. Weapons don't have so much punch. Everything is kind of floaty and there's really bad sound design. So sometimes it sounds like cars aren't even really there. There's just no excitement and certainly no feedback. Nothing that makes you feel like I'm here, I'm in the middle of stuff. You're not leaning over your chair in, in these big action sequences. In fact, it's just kind of dull. Yes, I do have to give a compliment just like Jake did in his video uh, on the open world. It's a cool open world. It's a shame that it was designed for this game because it's actually a really well-constructed, cool-looking place. It's unique. Uh, it's very sort of Southwesty without being overly familiar in terms of a Southwest looking location. Like in terms of design, aesthetic, and feel, the world's cool. But again, the glitches in the gameplay kind of just make it fall flat. Like NPCs kind of barely function. The police alert system is tame at best. And some areas, there's just nothing there. It's barren. 
So why is the new Saints Row game getting so much hate? I gave you a lot of little details here. I summed up a lot of the problems with the game, but a lot of games have these exact same kinds of problems, save for humor, because usually humor isn't that big of a component in a game. Still, the humor is in about the same state as everything else though, isn't it? But a lot of games come out with all these same problems and they don't get this kind of hate, which is why I think this game is getting this kind of hate. Like. If I'm honest, I'm tired of it. There was a time when like Bethesda games came out and they were just glitchy and buggy as hell. And we all thought that was charming because it was Bethesda. They were innovators. By Fallout 76, I just don't want to see another problem in a Bethesda game. And while Bethesda certainly didn't make Saints Row, I think Bethesda kind of effectively turned us all off by putting out games that just have serious problems. And Bethesda's one of the biggest developers of all. The fact that they did it as long as they did made it okay to do, and wow, do a lot of games release in the state that Saints Row released in. And people are sick of it. I'll tell you this right now. Another two, three years working on this Saints Row probably could have given us the next great Saints Row game. The world itself works. Every aspect built on top of it feels rushed and built by committee so that all the personality that we expect out of Saints Row just isn't there. The humor doesn't land. And again, it's a game with a ton of bugs that cost 60, 70 bucks. We've had enough. And Saints Row is supposed to be making fun of this stuff. It's not supposed to embody it. That, I think, is why Saints Row is getting so much hate. But what do you think? Leave us a comment. Let us know. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero. And we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.